Hi everyone, uh, this is just a super quick little tutorial on super heterodyne uh, receivers and how they work. So here we have a block diagram of a super heterodyne receiver. But before we get into the block diagram, I'd just like to touch on what super heterodyne means. So heterodyning is a way of uh, processing signals to generate new frequencies by combining two other frequencies. And super is short for supersonic, simply meaning it's outside the normal range of human hearing. So turning back to the block diagram now, we'll just do a walkthrough of the block diagram, what's happening at each particular stage, and uh, later on we'll do a few experiments to cover off on what we've learned. So let's start at the start. Uh, at the antenna, the whole of the radio spectrum is available, so all radio stations, unfiltered and everything. Okay, so that's all good and well, but to allow us to actually listen to a radio station that we want to, we need to actually apply some filtering to that signal that has every single radio station in it. And that's done at the RF filter stage. Now, that filter is actually a tuned filter, and it's actually linked or tuned in conjunction with the local oscillator as well, but we'll get to that down the track. But suffice to say, the signal that comes out of the RF filter is going to be uh, a tuned signal somewhere in the range of 530 to 1700 kilohertz for a normal broadcast band anyway. The signal level out of the filter is still very, very low, so we'd normally uh, implement an RF amplifier stage now. And the signal that comes out of the RF amplifier is not frequency shifted in any way whatsoever. So next we need to talk about the local oscillator. Now we've already talked about the fact that the RF filter is a tuned filter, so as you're tuning up and down the band, you're tuning that filter. Well, that uh, control also tunes the local oscillator. Now the local oscillator is set a certain amount either above or below the actual frequency that the RF filter is set for. And in the case of the AM broadcast band, that's 985 to 2155 kilohertz. So now we have both the RF signal being fed to the mixer and the local oscillator signal being fed to the mixer. And it could be said that the mixer is where all the magic happens. Basically, the mixer is a nonlinear device, and when you apply um, two frequencies to a nonlinear device, it will create new frequencies. So out of the mixer, we get the original RF signal, we get the original local oscillator signal, we get the sum of both signals, so local oscillator plus uh, the RF signal, and we also get the difference signal, so the local oscillator minus the RF. Okay, so that's all good and well, but what's the big advantage? Well, the advantage is, out of the mixer, we now have the possibility of just having one frequency, the signal's always on the same frequency, no matter what the RF filtered signal is actually tuned to. What we do need to do though is tidy up the signal a little bit. We've actually got those four frequencies coming out of the mixer. What we need to do is to actually select an appropriate intermediate frequency. So this is done using a filter stage. And in the case of the normal AM broadcast band, it's 455 kilohertz. Now our filtered intermediate frequency signal is still quite low so we need to pass it through an amplifier stage and there may actually be several amplifier stages just to get the signal to a satisfactory level. So after the amplification stage we've got a nice healthy signal now that we want to try and recover our audio from. The way we actually recover the audio is using the demodulator and in the case of the AM broadcast band, this can be as simple as rectification and some simple filtering. So once we have our recovered audio signal, we basically just need to amplify that to a sufficient level so we can drive a speaker. So I'm hoping that helps with the understanding of the superheterodyne 
uh, receiver. If you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to add them. If you have liked what you've seen, please like. And if you'd like to see more of what I'm doing, then please subscribe and don't forget to hit that little bell symbol so you get notified of something new.